fake news, conspiracy theories, both have been part of our lives for a very long time. As the world comes almost to a standstill due to the coronavirus disease pandemic, the battle to keep fake news away intensifies. You're laying 5G. Do you know that kills people? This is Lagos. These yeah. are the 5G pipes. Why people are indoors? They, people are indoor. they, they are busy it. laying it. If anyone thinks that's real, think again. The federal government was pushed to lock down Abuja and Lagos specifically because of 5G in Abuja and Lagos. The outbreak of COVID-19 started in Wuhan, a city in China, which is currently said to have no report of new cases. The first confirmed case in Africa was in Egypt, then Morocco, South Africa, Ghana, and now across over 30 cities in Africa. Most of these cases arrived from Europe and the United States. The spread is rapid, but another thing spreading as fast or even faster than this virus are the conspiracy theories, especially the one which insinuates that 5G is causing the spread of COVID-19 or that 5G is an antichrist movement propagated by the likes of Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffet, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Tony Blair, and with Donald Trump as savior of the world. The latter is somewhat ridiculous, so we will focus on the former, 5G. What is 5G? 5G is a communications method for mobile communications. It's a way of sending more bandwidth faster to a lot more people. Between a one kilometer square radius, right? 4G technology can handle 100,000 devices. Right? Guess how many devices a 5G technology can handle within a, a, a one kilometer radius? One million. What are the possible harmful effects of 5G to humans? Uh, we're using microwave ovens at our home to heat up our food. Uh, the power that comes out of a microwave oven is between 500 watts to 1,000 watts. And mm -hmm. what does it do? It heats food up. The amount of power being sent by your phone is on the order of 0.5 watts or even less than that. And when you move things farther away, the power density becomes much, much, much less. So in terms of what it can do to you, I would say the worst that could happen is it could heat you up. But that's if the power level was thousands and thousands of times higher. I think if 4G wasn't harmful, then 5G is no difference to some, exact, to some extent. I don't think, I think every advancement always has some kind of impact to the environment, but it's not the impacts that are being associated with it. Scientists were saying that they are beginning to detect um, little, little sounds within the Earth's core that typically you would not notice because of the cars and the trains and the planes on Earth. And now all of those things are now running. Their systems are more sensitive now to be able to hear the smallest of sounds within the earthquake. So they are, they are able to predict earthquakes way, way, way before it becomes an earthquake. Our going out and coming in every day has effects on the environment. We just need to understand how, why, and how to manage it. And that's basically what it is. Why in a fast-paced world, we need to process information faster. Is there the slightest possibility, based on research, that COVID-19 can be related to 5G network? Interesting scenario. Every major city in China has 5G currently and is running, not even testing stage. Because every village has 4G. So, I was in Shanghai like five or six months ago. Typically, if I'm in Nigeria, I will charge my phone in the morning until evening. It's good, right? And before 12 noon or before 2 p.m., my phone goes down because it's running on a very, very high network. It's processing information very, very fast. Your phone almost becomes hot. 5G is radio waves that are going in the airwaves. And I think, first of all, what I want to say is, you know, people who believe that 5G is causing COVID-19 is utter nonsense. This conspiracy theory is spreading way faster than 5G itself, and some think that the stay-home order is being perpetrated or used by telecoms giants to lay fiber for 5G. Well, those are two very unrelated things. Mm. Do I believe 5G should be deployed? Yes, it's 
faster bandwidth, it's faster internet for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, would this be a good opportunity to deploy the equipment when everybody is at home? Mm -hmm. I would say definitely yes. Is this a good opportunity to go on a road trip and travel? Yes. Is this a good time to fix roads? Yes. Is it a good time to uh, make new bridges? Yes. Is it a good time to paint buildings? Yes. But they're not related. Okay. So uh, first of all, 5G technology is something that's going to be coming. Uh, it requires the installation of equipment on towers, uh, which can happen when everybody is still working as well. I mean, we all were there when they started GSM in Nigeria, when we didn't have it, right? We were all there. Did, we, did they have to do a virus for them to, for us to, for them to roll out the towers? No. When uh, Main One and uh, all these fibers and, and uh, IPNX and all these guys started running fiber all over Nigeria and the Suburbans running fiber all over Nigeria, um, did, did, we, did we need to stay home for that to happen? Amid the theories, what we know for sure is that we as humans, regardless of race, gender, age, color, and status are fighting one common enemy known as COVID-19. And it is important that you and I listen to health practitioners and our government in order to defeat this enemy. Remember, we stand together to defeat COVID-19. As for the conspiracy theories, you know what they say, let's leave to fight another day. Elsie Godwin for Plus TV Africa.